Good evening and salam Ibu Butiriku. Here's the updates for 24th December 2019. Chief Minister Datuk Patinge Abang Zohari Tunopeng said most infrastructure projects funded by the state government will be openly tendered from middle of next year. He stated that infrastructure projects consist of road, bridge, electric supply and water supply all over Sarawak and will be financed by state government. Abang Johari said budget 2019 is largest in Sarawak's history, amounted to 10.4 billion ringgit. According to him, state government can provide the large allocation because tax revenue imposed on petroleum and petroleum-based product for export. The new tax, he said, will enable Sarawak provide budget that is large without use existing state reserve. Strictly, the state reserve will not be touched at, but will continue to be increased. He added more, Sarawak budget is also budget that every year emphasise development with allocation in rate of 30% for expenses managed and 70% more for development. He urged to continue to be defended as Sarawak can continue to be administered by Sarawak citizens and not to be confined by other parties in decision-making process for people benefit and beloved state Sarawak. The very own Sarawak son had proven could tell and could administer the state well with far-sighted policy, consistency and not just to political interests. Sarawak continues to shine brightly as the beacon of unity and harmony in the country, claims the Sarawak United People's Party, SUPP. Party Information Chief Adam Yee, who is Miri Mayor, said this piece in Sarawak reflects the true meaning of Christmas season. Yee mentioned it is good to note that our state continues to remain the beacon of multiracial and multi-religious unity and harmony as seen clearly during the December 8th Miri Christmas Parade. He said in his message that this should be a time of family togetherness and prayers and there is no better place to do so than the home and community, where one still have families and friends to share the joy with. There is no greater joy than to spend Christmas with people who care and who are close and dear to us. Now on to world news. The tsunami that hit the coast of Indonesian islands along the Sunda Strait was not big, but it was destructive. The waves smashed onto beaches into the darkness on Saturday night without warning, ripping houses and hotels from their foundation in seconds, sweeping terrified coastal goers into the sea. Broken lumber and bricks smashed cars and puddles of seawater were left behind. Indonesian government personnel and volunteers were searching debris-strewn beaches for survivors and bodies, while families tried to identify their loved one and grieve for the dead. Survivors said the wave they experienced was about a meter, equivalent to 3.3 feet high and swept 15 to 20 meters, equivalent to 50 to 65 feet inland. Scientists said it was set off by an eruption and possibly a landslide on the volcanic island of Anak Krakatau, which had been erupting since June. The sooner than expected departure of Defence Secretary Jim Mattis shift the focus to President Donald Trump's appointment of an acting Pentagon chief and plans for permanent replacement. Deputy Defence Secretary Patrick Senehan will take over as acting secretary on January 1st, Trump announced in a tweet on Sunday. He had worked for more than three decades at Boeing Corporation and was a senior vice president when he became Pentagon deputy in July 2017. Meanwhile, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell joined leading Republicans on foreign affairs, urging Trump to reconsider his decision to withdraw American forces from Syria and called it a premature and costly mistake. They asked Trump to withhold a final decision for 90 days to allow time to study the impact of the decision, but Mark Valney told reporters that Trump wouldn't change his mind. Just after tweeting the announcement about Shanahan, Trump said he had a long and productive call with Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Trump said they discussed their mutual involvement in Syria and the slow and highly coordinated pullout of US troops from the area for after many years, they are coming home. Well, that's the updates for now and I'm Kamaruddin Bujang. Salam Ibu Butiriku.